Hello, I'm Spade. Welcome to another of the CSGO Pro Positions videos where we watch a pro player play a spot on a map and try and learn a few things from the way they're playing. Just to orient ourselves, we're looking at Mirage here, and I just wanted to see some pistol round setups. So Astana Dragons kind of plays pretty standard. 2 and A, 1 mid looking window, and 2 B. Um, nothing unusual about that. Here we're going to look at how Fnatic sets up, and they've stacked B. They put three players in B, one spotting window, and just one person kind of playing safe A jungle. And then everybody's favorite team, Nip, plays it more stacked towards A. They've got one jungle mid and then two on A site, just uh, in case. So now we're going to watch uh, Schneider from Fnatic uh, play basically... I call it Jungle Connector, but, the, you know, he kind of floats in this area. Um, generally, he watches Palace, like you can see here, and once he hears something about entry into A site from A ramp, um, you'll see him look over around the curve of uh, t uh, stairs and Tetris there. Take a look at where he's aiming. You know, it's just kind of he knows where folks are going to show up um, when they start rushing around that. And, uh, and has a spot, you know, set and pre-aimed. This round I, I put in here because I thought it was interesting the way these guys uh, pushed a ramp. Now, they pushed it together. Um, they got a flash here to come out. Uh, it turns out they neither of them looked up, um, and it worked out for them anyway. But you notice that they didn't just yellow at one person. They, they worked out there, they flashed it, and they got a lot of information. I think they kind of knew at this point that everything was really oriented more towards B-side. The other thing I wanted to point out, um, let's see if he does it, I don't think he does it here, but I'll point it out later then. <laughs> here he smokes a ramp and crosses, oh, you know, this is actually a, a reasonable time to point it out. Is Notice how he crossed these steps there, he smoked ramp and crossed it. All the other times that he plays jungle area, he really, he runs from CT spawn through window, like he did in the first round, which prevents anyone from being able to pick him when he makes the cross, uh, which a lot of people, when they play sort of jungle connector, run through a site. Here you see he gets flashed out, and where he retreats to is that tall stack, uh, I call it double stack, on a site. And from here he kind of looks to those, uh, you know, a ramp steps and boxes and he does eventually get picked i think um i think they do win the round but so see how that he came from ct spawn through the um i don't know little crawl space to to window room and there then he went to jungle and connector he didn't cross so he didn't give them an opportunity to pick him on the cross and here you see they start executing on site a and Schneider pretty well smoked out here, uh, naded down too as well. And at this point he just decides, you know what, I'm not going to get anything accomplished sitting around here in smoke. That's another thing I've done is w when I get smoked out at jungle, I often feel tempted to push up, push through stairs, etc. Um, but that's really not the best choice because once again, you're just coming through smoke and everybody's looking. Um, this case, when they come around uh, to CT spawn, he is able to you know, make a pick, and ultimately they do make the play and win the match. So I hope that gives you a couple new ideas on how to play uh, A-Site, especially around jungle area, an idea of how to push, especially if you have a teammate that's willing to play with you. Um, so I hope it was useful. Spade out.